and gentlemen and welcome to this edition of what a horse i've got mr jerry Williams with me yes sir <laughs> we've been having we've been having a good time out at jerry as i can tell you training we're, we're training a little bit of everything right everything, now. We, everything. we got lead line uh, we got flat shot we got trail padded, horses trail horses padded you name it we got just it. don't shoot a gun because everybody will leave but the horse. <laughs> everybody gets shook up but the horse. That's horse right. don't get shook up. <laughs> i tell you what, before we get started, Jerry, we're going to take a real quick pause for our sponsors because without them, we couldn't be here anyway. I understand. We'll be right back after this moment of, well, uh, how do you say that? Promotional video. Yes, yes. That's it. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Spring Fun Show will be held May 26th through the 28th at the Calsonic Arena in Shelbyville, Tennessee. This premiere three-night show promises to be fun and entertaining, so bring the whole family. From the time the first horse enters the ring until the last horse takes its victory pass wearing the championship class blue ribbon, you will be treated to the best the walking horse industry has to offer. Join us starting May 26th at Calsonic Arena in Shelbyville, Tennessee. For more information, call 931-684-5915. Why do we want? So uh, get your cat off from me or sit yourself in the rooms. Want everybody to know the rooms of the games we're here today? So, 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 Mark Yoshi. So, to my man, there's your black stud goat by in the amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. I do have a couple of announcements, and this is for this weekend. We got two shows this weekend, and next week everything goes everywhere else. We got Shovel Central High School is Friday night. Now, this is the first annual show, and 
I hope people get out around Bedford County to support this because it's for the tennis team of the high school, the boys and girls. Uh, you can call Allison Smith, 931-607-2680, or Ricky Richardson at 931-492-0188. And I'm looking forward to this because Grant Holt's going to be the judge. Grant's a good dude. Yeah, buddy. he is a really nice guy. Showtime starts at 6 p.m. I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. We're going to be there shooting for sure. But I'm looking forward to it simply because I want to see Grant judge, and that's a good cause. Yeah, that that's is a major cause. Then Saturday night, Alabama Walk and Horse Auxiliary, May the 7th in Decatur, Alabama, at the Morgan Celebration Arena. Contact Joan Kemp at 205-566-6090. Start time is 5 p.m. And Lee Stewart, celebration judge. Yep. Yep. I know she probably won't be this year, but she has in the past. Mm -hmm. So they got good judge down there. We got Grant up here, so should be a good weekend. All the way around, of course, we'll be reporting on that next week, showing some of the best there is out there. Now, what else going on? What you think about the show this weekend? I thought it was a pretty good show. They, I they, they, had a real good they show. did. They, yes. I, was, I was mighty proud of them. They, uh, they, they put on a good show. They got it over with, with a decent yeah. time. Mm -hmm. It wasn't late. Uh, a lot of people left broken hearted because they didn't win. But that's, yes. I mean, when, that's you, so got, when you got 31, 32 classes, right. yeah. you're going to have a bunch of broken mm -hmm. hearts. Yes, you're I right. mean, that's just where you got 32 happy people. people. Uh -huh. and, and that's you're about exactly it. Exactly right. I'll tell you what I did. I, we watched some uh, kids ride out there. You know that Daniel Smith from Fedbull? Yes. That kid can flat ride a horse. He can, he can do <laughs> he that. He can ride, he can ride, he can ride. All right, we got a sign up here that says that we're ready to show some video. And uh, this is an interview that we that I did with uh, Mr. Warren Wells, Warren's uh, nice CEO guy. of the Celebration. And uh, I tell you what, he, he he's really going out and working to make things better. Yes. So my hat goes off to him. But we'll be right back when we watch this video with an interview of Warren Wells. I am here on the Celebration Grounds with Warren Wells, the CEO of the Celebration. And Warren, I want to thank you for getting with us. Yeah, I know you. this was short notice, but uh, a lot of questions about the fun show. So I'm just going to let you, I know we're going back inside. Yep, inside so this gonna year. I'm going to let you explain exactly how we're going to do this this year. Okay, yeah. That? Sounds great. Thanks, and th thanks for having me. It's always great to be on your show. I think you were, uh, you were my, fir my first show ever, uh, fir first interview uh, when I was uh, announced as CEO, and so glad to be back. So, yeah, the fun show is going to move back inside this year. Um, I think it, it um, had a lot of excitement being outside last year. Everyone really enjoyed it. Um, uh, the weather kind of took a hit on us, and we ended up having to try to prepare two tracks at one time. Um, I think it was a, a fluke and a crazy weather occurrence that probably won't happen very much, but um, before I came on board, I was here for the fun show, but not officially on board. Um, the, the, uh, the board of directors voted that the next fun show would be back inside. Um, I think we're going to continue to look at that and evaluate. Um, Everyone likes it outside for the most part. It's fun. Uh, it's kind of a, a good way to gear up toward a celebration, start working right. on that bigger, that bigger ring, be outside. Um, and, and I just love to, to use the big oval whenever we can. So um, uh, I think uh, something we're going to continue to look at, moving back outside. Well, it's fun to be out there, especially when it's nice. It's when it's raining. <laughs> right. The celebration everybody has to put on there, um, as, as one song I heard, my, our big girl panties. And, and deal with it with the rain mm -hmm. and we become football fans but uh <laughs> during, during the fun show i can i can understand why still earlier in the year some yeah. of these nights are still cool that too and st still getting some of those spring those spring showers are quite a bit you know so. well let's talk a little bit about the classes yeah and how we're going up how the classes are going to go uh i think that we start on thursday night mm -hmm. yep Showtime's so, what six o'clock? Yep, Thursday, Friday, Saturday uh, again this year. Um, virtually the same schedule as last year. Class schedule. We we moved a few around to uh, make it a little easier on everyone. We did add the um, the three the the Riders Cup three and under country pleasure uh, optional tack class this right. year. So that that one's that one's new. Um, 
and got some exciting, uh, we were excited about the judges, uh, Leah Boyd and uh, Jamie Bradshaw and Derek Bonner uh, will be back. Um, I've worked with Derek before um, since I've been here and excited to have him back uh, and doing two associate judges this year. One thing, um, as I was going through that process of working with the board on judges for the celebration, um, you know, it, it's, it's um, something I want to focus on is, is, is growing that pool of judges uh, that we have out there. Judges that people are comfortable with, know, uh, have great confidence in, um, and represent um, you know, our industry well. And so um, we're going to try to do as much of the associate judges as we can. Um, and this year we have Chad Williams and, um, and uh, Vic Vicki Gilbert um, out of Alabama coming in. So excited about that. Okay, and that's for the celebration? Uh, no, that's fun show. Fun, fun show. show. Yep. Okay. Yep. okay. Well, you had said celebrations on the reason I'm asking. Sorry, but, sorry, yeah. But you met the bunch of them. No, I mean, uh, my, fir my first, um, first work of, of getting judges was during, during the celebration last year. Well, I'm going to applaud the Leah Boyd. Okay. I mean, she, everybody knows her. It, it might be the first time that you could actually have a judge sing the national anthem because she does a fantastic. I didn't know that. Hey, she does a, she's got a beautiful voice okay. now. Okay. She, she can flat sing. And that, that's uh, one thing that when she's normally at a show, that's what she's doing. Okay. But now I've heard that she's a fantastic judge. So that is one um, I had not had the opportunity to to meet her before this, but I'd heard a lot of great things, and uh, we had we had a couple of great phone calls um, as we were looking for judges, and I'm super excited about it. But the uh, the national anthem I did not know about, so that's oh, yes. uh, now, that's she, awesome. She has a beautiful voice and and can get that high pitch. I've I've listened to her a bunch <laughs> of times and I always comment. We've got three or four in this industry that, that's right up there yeah. at the top, and she is definitely one of them. Well, there, there's always something that, that, that comes up during the show that you have to scramble for. So if, uh, if a singer is it, we'll, we'll have her as backup. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. That, that's one thing that's always good to have a, have a backup someplace. Yeah. Well, about the, uh, let, let's talk just a tad, if you don't mind, about the fraternity. Okay. Before we do that, I have one other thing I wanted to bring up on the, on the fun show. I meant to mention it. Um, we're changing the format a little bit this year on online entries. So we're going to do fun show online entries, um, and it's going to be on uh, entermywalkinghorse.com, at entermywalkinghorse.com this year. Okay. Um, going to be open. It starts uh, May 22nd, um, and it will be open every day of the show until 1 p.m., and then um, if you want to still do in-person, uh, you can come up to the fun show. I'm sorry I forgot that. No, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That, this is the information that they're looking for. Yeah. I know that we had talked to Mark Farah okay. about the, uh, the transition of the fraternity. And, and I, I think this is a great thing because it, the fraternity has got away from what the fraternity was meant to be. It's got much bigger and, and uh, with its lost entries because of that, I think. Mm. But they, the idea y'all came up with, with putting it with the, the celebration, makes a lot of sense. Now, it did come up about the, if there's multiple entries, that there may be one class that's just maturity entries. And I know that interests a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, just just with with the numbers that are out there, we, we saw it that it would really be beneficial for for both parties um, to to merge them, and so yeah, you're right. If if we have a great number of entries for a class, which we're hoping we will, and and it it warrants a um, a split, our goal is to put all fraternity nominated in one, and then uh, have just straight celebration entries in the other. And I think I think that'd make it exciting and. Um, I would. And, and be beneficial for it keeps keeps the keeps the night moving well and things like that too. Well, I know a lot of people are looking forward to it, and a lot of people enjoy the fraternity. Yeah. And I'm one of them. I love the fraternity, but I can also understand, you know, years ago when we first started Water Horse, the lead line, just the halter classes. Mm -hmm. Well, you'd look out there, and and it would be a continuous circle, hmm. but over the years that's kind of dwindled down, and this may be an avenue to bring that back yeah i hope it i hope so you know we we, we worked with with mark a lot and and david sisk and and you know Tweeba, and um you know we need to try some different things uh to, to to try to get that interest and that excitement up and so we know this is probably a little bit of a risk it's not a, it's not a, not a crazy risk it's you know it's still going to be here um but i'm hoping that some of these um fraternity nominated um entries get to be in the big oval um, and so that hope, hopefully that'll bring some excitement there. Um, it allowed me to spread out my classes a little bit. Um, and so 
um, makes it a little bit easier on our staff and hopefully the, the fans maybe won't be here so late some nights and um, so I, th I think it I think it should be good for all of us and and Jerry you know this is this is an experiment so we'll, we'll see how it goes um, but if, if it does go well um, you know, we, we will look at adding that, um, you know, the celebration truly opening in the Big Oval on that Wednesday night maybe uh, next year. And so it's, it's something that we'll, we'll see what the support is. It was hard to, to make all that happen this first year, especially with we're not sure if it was going to stick. Um, but so celebration will not look too much, diff you know, too different. It's, it's um, Wednesday. We'll still have day classes and that'll be the first of the celebration classes. Um, and then the, the difference there will be we'll have regular celebration classes on that first Wednesday night. We will not be opening up in the Big Oval. Um, it wasn't a decision we made lightly. It was we, we kind of wanted to open up in the Big Oval. Um, but then Thursday night will be will be just like normal. Well, you know, you, you say it's a little of a gamble. I, honestly, when, when we was first started, I've talked to Mark about this several times. And from the field, I don't think it's that big a gamble. Good. I yeah. really don't. I, I feel like the people will support it. My, my thing is this, is we need more people involved, but we need to grow the industry. And with what plat shot horses are selling for now out over mm. the internet and stuff, registering them is a big thing. But in my opinion, now this is me, if you put them, register them, and you enter them in the fraternity, and the fraternity starts growing back to the size it mm -hmm, was, mm -hmm. whether that horse makes a performance horse or not, whether it makes a good flat shot horse or not, there's always the avenue of a trail pleasure horse. And just those credentials on the pedigree, mm -hmm. the registration papers, that right there is a big plus when it comes to selling. And all those want to make money selling our horses. Yeah, right, right. So I, I think y'all are... I think it's going to be a great move. Yeah. Is there anything else we need to talk about today? Um, you know, one other thing that, that's been, so our um, celebration class schedule's out there for comment um, till uh, May 13th. Right. So, you know, please send in uh, your your comments to Connie. So it's callen at twhnc.com. We're taking those in. We're um, us, the board, and, um, and our class schedule committee will, will be looking at those to, to see what changes we'll have before we have that final schedule go out. Um, and then, you know, you, you talked about, um, you know, some excitement and trying to add some new things. Uh, this year, we're, we're going to add the two-year-old Mayor World Grand Championship. Um, and so I think a lot of people are really excited about that. Um, that's one of those that we'll be watching really closely to see what the support is and, and where it is and whether it's going to uh, continue to go forward. That's so, win-win situation yeah. right there. Yeah, I know, I, know, I know where you are on it. <laughs> that right there is, is another, yeah. to me, it's a good step because celebration is, is a celebration and we need, we, we need our world grand champions, but we need the, to really point out these mayors. Okay. And that, I think that's a great move. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, I really appreciate you taking your time. I know you're busy. But we will be letting everybody know about the registrations and all okay. this. And uh, I hope y'all have a good week and looking forward to the fun show. All right. Thank you. Us too. Thank, thank you. you. I tell you what, every time I go and talk to uh, Warren, it, it's just, I get a good feeling. Oh, yeah. Because he, right. he is really working hard. We've had breakfast. Well, you've been yeah. some mm -hmm. of the breakfast. And, and he just, the way he comes around, he, he will ask the questions to get to to see what is really needed. Oh, yeah. And that's, he's, that's he's like he's really looking out for everything and trying to make everything better for this yep. industry. Well, he listens. And that's why I admire about him. It, it makes a big difference yes. when, you, when you're when you open to suggestions. All right. We got some video from Fast Victory Passive. They had a good show. Right there is Take a Chance on Me and Hayden Thompson. I was proud of this boy. Yes. I think I told you, Jerry, this mayor had never been in the ring. Four years old, 16-year-old young man. Tell me he can't ride. Oh, yeah, he's doing a real good job. Hey, he's super. Well, you know, that's how a lot of these trainers of the day start off showing amateur and juvenile, and then they end up being a horse trainer. Out there is Evening at the Palm and Lanny Mullix. For Laney Munnix, your Tweeba, Youth Medallion Canner winner.
This is one of Virginia Stewart's favorite classes. She loves the canter. Tennessee Walking Horse Breeders and Exhibitors Youth Medallion Canter winner. I like that because Bill Bobo trained oh, yeah. that horse and oh, yeah. I was growing up watching Bill's show and, and everything and, and train. He's getting involved. That's yes. it. And you know, I know the horse plays a lot in this, but I, on this right here, that rider means yes, a lot to me. And right here she is, the hoss and Allie oh. Joe Jacobs. She is something else. Yes, she is. She's, she's a good, she's making a good little rider. Tell you what, Lee Stewart's done a fantastic job with her. She has. But now, when you go, what, watch your daddy, he's all the way around that ring both ways. Yes. <laughs> He is flat watch it out. But that little girl, I told her, I told her that I believe she could ride a streak of lightning if she had a chance. Oh yes. She loves it. You're doing a good job out there training some of these kids. I watched you the other day. Right here's I am big enough and Maxine Beasley, youth pony reserve winner. You know, all these kids kind of start off in that lead line stuff. Yeah. The last two you showed right here. Well, both of those yeah, girls that's what I'm did. Start off one world Allie championship. Job, she mm -hmm. did. Yes. I believe you kind of help them get the feel of a horse. You know, I, I heard uh, so different people talk about when they they get the feel of a horse and what, you know, how that horse is. Yes. And it, it helps a lot of kids. It does. Right here, Jerry, me and you can sit here and talk all night about this horse. Oh, yeah, that horse. That horse he, a good horse, a really good horse. Great, epic. And Megan Hammond for Shamrock Farm. Mike just literally loves his horse. He is. Megan's a real good rider. She is a real good rider. But when they when they changed the vision on this horse, he found his calling. And to me, that right there is a great walking horse. She sits the horse real good. Yes. Wish I could ride that good. I might, I might ride more. Right here is up tight, Jose and Bruce McDonald for Robin and Bruce McDonald. I tell you, this this horse right here, Veronica Woodard, is who I deal with in Atlanta on on some of the videos that we yes. stream up to YouTube and everything. Uh -huh. She loves this horse. She, she called me one day and told me, she said, I like that uptight old Jose. Uh, <laughs> said, I like him. I'm glad to see Mr. Bruce showing a bunch now. Oh, I am too. I am. He always he, liked it. Tell you what, when you enjoy doing it, that's one thing I've, I've always been afraid of. If I ever started, I might like it too much. That's right. Three-year-old stay in winter. Voyager and Jimmy McConnell for Paul and Tiffany Simons. Yeah. That's a real talented horse right there. Yeah, he is. Real, real good one. There, I'm going to tell you, there's some good ones out here. It is. What's going to happen when him and his son-in-law meet up? Yeah. Ooh. He's a big, pretty horse, too. Yes. You can tell one doing good when you, when you hear somebody in the background, how, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. He's doing Here good. we go. <laughs> Here's all about Jose and Jackie Wadley. Jackie says that it's such a fun riding that horse. And I can believe it because he wears a bridle rare back. She said he's easy to ride yeah. too. He's another real nice horse. Oh yeah. 
it she, makes you look at him when he come in the ring. Hey, you come in the ring, you you gonna, you gonna see him. Yeah, it don't take long. And right there is brain power and Jake Jacobs for Ali Joe Jacobs. Think what that counter class is going to be tough this year. Oh, it is. It is. It's going to be tough. I'm glad to see that's coming back to more counter. Oh, me too. Countering back in the horses. That's a. You know, used to the ponies and everything counter. Oh, everybody, so, even the so when they bring it back. Hey, they bring it back. That's good. I tell you what, Jake sets the way. Oh yeah, he now, does. He does. He sets a good horse. Real nice man. Real nice. I tell you what, I told Jack Heffington another day that that when they sold this horse, this young lady, yes. they found a perfect match. They did. Because that horse is matched to hers, just perfect. Beautiful horse, and yes. that young lady can flat ride him. Yep. Tell you one thing, when she's in that ring, she's all busy. Oh, she's busy now. Now she ain't, she ain't worried about nothing else but getting the job done. I tell you, she reminds me so much of way back that little girl, um, Rachel Gamble. Yeah. Used to show all the time. She's. Boone's Jen and Jimmy McConnell for Mike Floyd, your four year old open winner. You know, Mike's always got some good horses, good horses now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You look up, and here he'll come with another good one. Yeah. We need our train, our owners like that too. Yes. That can go out and pick them a horse. But I think this is one that he bred. I think, I may be wrong. This is real nice. Hey. <laughs> That counter class, I told Jake, I said, Jake, I said, now that was something else, buddy. Yeah. And that's a good, I mean, that is. I tell you what, R.M. Kelly, he, he's young, but now he's a trainer. He's a trainer, he's a good one. With Spencer in the background helping him out too, you yeah. know, Spencer's a real good ground man. Oh, Lord, yeah. Spencer's Spencer. been doing it for a long time. <laughs> But now that, that's, that's too good mix. It yeah, kind of reminds me back when Toby Green and Buddy Hugh were together. Of course, that yeah. may have been before your time. Yeah. But now they were a good team. Right here's a Super Bowl MVP. You're 12 to 17. B.B. Beasley. They really like to ride. Hey, those girls. Them girls, they love it now. They, they more or less taken all the horses away from Beth. Yeah. Right there's Mr. Far Real. 50 and over, reserve winner. That's he made a, him. Hey, that's a good man. Right? Yeah. I enjoy talking to him on the phone. He is. He's, and he can ride now. Yeah. He made a good show. He right knows here. how to get it done. Yeah. And the biggest thing about him, he's positive about this business. Regardless on what place he get, he's happy when he comes out. He got a big smile on his face. Well, that, that's... As long as, as long as he get to ride his horse. Hey, I, I wish everybody in this industry was like that. Yes. Because it just like it. Here's your state class winner, Joe Paul.
and Winky Groover for Strickland and Porterfield. He had him hitting it that night, oh, did yeah. he? They go together with each other, them two horses, him and that horse. They've been, I think they've been together since day one, ain't they? Yeah, they split for a little while, and when we got him back, and he come right back together. I mean, he's right. good. Winky works hard. Yeah. It's a good way to end the night. Yes, that's Winky. right. <laughs> and I know exactly the right. owners were happy. happy. Mm -hmm. Strickland's running around. Boy, yeah. she smiled from here to here. <laughs> Tell you what, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and we will be right back with some extravaganza victory passes. We'll be right back in just a moment. <laughs> Again to win started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old grand championship, and then Jen would go on to win world championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With world and world grand championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Dwin is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once and delivered to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. I don't want anybody to forget the winner circle. They have free shipping for any order over $100, and they do support our industry on a regular basis. So please remember the winner circle when you're getting your equine needs. It's Jerry Harris and Jim Fuller with the latest in the world of horses, including information and clips from area shows. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> I do want to say something about this phone yeah. service that I offer. Uh -huh. Number one in service, but in May, we're going to be giving the first three months service free for okay. everybody that signs up. Now, that can get into some heavy duty. Yeah. I've talked that's to several right. people that their phone bill, six, seven hundred dollars a month. Uh -huh. that, that's good savings right there. All right, we're going to go to the extravaganza. Tell you, Carol Misseldine did a good job with this show too. She uh, yes. she had it set up, but look who's that? <laughs> Lead line class winner, Queen Elizabeth and Connor Van Van Niven. 
I cannot pronounce that name to save myself. <laughs> I tried. Hey, Connor likes to ride now. He comes that boy about three or four times a week. And he, he gets into it. He gets into it. Well, you know, there's somebody else that gets into it, and I caught her there the other day. Uh, now, you, you did well with this one right here. Yeah. But this is something that I admire. You, you had three of them lined up out there in the cross tie at one time. Yes. Yeah. But, and I'm talking about the ponies. Uh huh. And that, that's pretty good. But you got different people coming out at different times to ride, and right here is one of them. Oh yeah. This, this is little Henley Martin. And she really uh, loves. She hey, loves the horses. She got she got into it big time. Yes. She she likes it now. And I like fooling with the kids and the ponies and stuff like that. You know that. Well, it, it's fun. It's, it's fun to yeah. watch them get used to it and get involved in it. And uh, her dad seemed to be really excited yes, he about is. it. That little pony Dexter. Right there. What about this young man? Uh, he, yeah. get, he get it done. It's yep. the medalist in Eli Cunningham for Wilson and Cunningham. Tell you what, this young man is just, he, he is something else. Oh yeah. Something else. He likes them horses. What was it he told his grandfather out there that day? He says, I can hold him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good young man. Yeah, he likes it now. Well, I tell you, when these kids get started at that age, as long as they can stay in it, I'd, that right there, take that over any game machine and all oh, yes, that. You're right. Of course, you got your baseball and your football and your basketball. But I'd rather be, at that age, I'd love to have been on yeah. a horse. Here is Polly Gray and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. He told me, he said, you know, I got a pretty good two-year-old mare. That right there, she'll be, she'll oh, be yeah. up there in the running for that grand championship mare this year. I can't wait for that class to come. I me, think, me too. I think it'll be a exciting class. Now you talking about a class that may be split. Yeah. It, it could be three, four splits. Cause we got some good two year old mares out oh, here yeah. and right there is one of them. Right here, I am you know, Jake Jacobs, part performance winner. Mm -hmm. Hey, I can talk and talk, but right there's the horse. Oh, yeah. Now he, He's good. You know, that, that's a class that's kind of tough, too. Oh, yes. That's, I think that's his second this year, or third. He's done, he's done real well. Jake does a real good job with those. Yes, he does. I think Dickie trained that horse, don't he? Yep. Dickie does, you know, a good job. I tell you, it, it takes a lot for them trainers to work a horse and then get him ready for that, that amateur riding. Right here is Honors Image, four-year-old winner. Another Shane Porterfield horse. Yes. And Tanner, he, he's another one of our young guns. Yeah. You can't help but be proud of him. Yeah, he's doing real good. Well, you got one in your barn that does real good too, because Jeremy, he, he he can get it done. Jeremy does a good job. I'm very proud of him. Very, very proud of him. Right here, I tell everybody I, I love his horse. Yeah. Now he's one that get you said getting attention. Uh, he this one right here gets your attention when you come in. Well, you got the looks, the color, and he stands out. You're going to go in there with intentions of beating this horse, you better be clicking on yes. all four cylinders. And Bob, Bob's good for the industry. Yes, he just he is. laid back. Easy going. I, 
I am honors in Link Webb for Don and Lucky Collins. I want to tell everybody, my buddy Don has been feeling under the weather. We appreciate your prayers for him. Yes. But now Don's proud of this one right here. I sent him the wrong leak. I could not believe it. I sent him tenor birds. He said, Jerry, that ain't my whole <laughs> <laughs> but I was I was texting so many links out that yeah. morning that I just grabbed the wrong one. Yeah, Don and, and Lucky is real nice people. They have been good to me over the past couple, few years. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that right there is a nice one. I'm gonna I say that's a nice one right there. Yes, I mean it is. It is. Nice it's a lit nice up, one. blaze nice face. One. He got to come home yesterday from the hospital. Good, good. Yes. Mm -hmm. that, that, that makes me feel better because yes. I, I know I talked to him Friday and he went in and then I, he tried to call me Friday night to tell me that he got the link. I had to change it when I come yes. back, I said mm -hmm. it to him. But I'm glad he's home. All right, we're going to take a trip to the cancer show. Bedford Cancer Foundation, walking for cancer. Right there was your youth ponies. And right there was your winner. That's big yes. enough right there. I'm big enough and Maxine Beasley took the blue. The Riddler and Emma Black was reserved. And Lily Waits, Daniel, how do you say his last name? Caceres. That, that had, I yeah. believe that's right, Caceres. But Maxine and Big Enough got the job done. I'll tell you what, now she sets a good horse. Yeah, she sets a good horse. But now she started in that lead, lead line, line yeah. you know, getting Sitting it up, up her yeah. right too. You know, all action out of it, an amateur and a kid and stuff like that should be able to sit up on a horse. And most of the trainers should. I yeah. mean, they should. Yeah. But I mean, you you ride so many, you kind of get in the habit of doing a certain well, thing. But I mean, I think my buddy Sammy Day started that because he wanted to watch their front feet, and he started leaning over, yeah. and everybody else started leaning over, and then they got to thinking, I guess that's the way you're supposed to ride. Yeah. And some some kids followed suit now. Yeah. But you look back at some of the old videos. Everybody set up in the saddle. Oh yeah. Wrong young. All them older oh. people and all the older trans now sits up in the saddle. Joe Martin looked like he was melted and poured in a seat yeah. and that he was just, I mean, you know what I'm saying. He just got into it. I am big enough. Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley, your youth pony winner. She told me them kids love to ride. Yeah. That little horse, every time you see every video you put out, every time you see him in the ring, he does that same lick. He's oh, yeah. There. He's, 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 he's consistent he's a good now. One. He is a good one. He's consistent. I like this video from both sides of the yeah. ring. It really shows it right. I'm going to tell you, youth 11 and under. Dixie Reader was reserved, but I'm going to tell you, Leah Bell, reason I'm wanting this, Leah Bell's mother, Christy Bell, is running for trustee in Franklin County. Okay. And uh, I'm, I'm for 100%. But th this class was won by Super Puncher and Sterling Woodruff. He looks a lot like his granddaddy. Yes. Riding a mm -hmm. horse. You ever notice oh, that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dixie Reader was reserved, and National Hero and Dylan Jackson brought up the third place. But right there is Leah. And she makes a good, I mean, yes. she makes a good show. She's a good rider, and she works hard. And I do believe her mother will make a good trustee yeah. for Franklin County.
Sterling. All of them going to the line up in style, that Billy Gray lick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right there is your winner. Mm -hmm. And right here is tribute to Dixie Rita and Leanne Bale. I like the way that little lady sets, sets the saddle, she too. Sets saddle she really sets up there and gets it done. Yes. It makes the horse look just that much better. Oh, I think so. It I does. do. I, mean, I, I really do. Out. I think yeah. it really helps the horse now. But it speaks a lot for our industry. Yeah, that's right. Good job, Aaliyah. That was the first edition. Uh -huh. Now, we got another one. Okay. You act like you're fixing to get up and leave. You ain't done yet. No, uh -uh. <laughs> we, we got more to do. But before we do, we're going to have to take a short pause for our sponsors. And we'll be right back with the conclusion of today's show. How's that? Yeah, that'll work. I, I just get that. excited I when I watch right. videos. I'm going to make you the new director. Yeah, when I watch uh, some videos, I just want to lean into it <laughs> like I at the horse show. I want to get up there and ride, <laughs> too. ride <them> too. <laughs> We'll be right back after this. these short messages. I had a knee replacement, so they've got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, I'm going to make you director, and that way you can do all this, and I can just kick back and watch. <laughs> How would that be? <laughs> I might gonna, try one time. You try it one time? I'll try it one time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go over there, and I'll tell the guys, the day I'm the head trainer, I'm going to tell y'all what to do. Jerry's over there to take care of the <laughs> that'll, studio. That'll Let's work. get with it. Okay, cancer. Bedford Cancer Foundation. There's Connie Allen. She did a great job. All right, here's your four-year-old open. I tell you what, Zorro Jr., what more can you ask for? Yeah. You know, I can't, I'm gonna ask Beth why she does not show this horse. John Allen won the class on Zorro Jr. for Beth Beasley. Camasta Laquita and Bobby Hugh for Brenda Mormon was reserved. Master of the T, Jimmy McConnell for Beverly Sherman. Old timer, I like that name. Nick Price for Sarah Coffee Birch. Yeah. And Dixie Preacher, Justin Harris finished out the ribbons for Joe Fleming. That's a nice horse, John Allen. Real nice. 
Have you? Well, you're talking about some good trainers right there. Oh, yeah. They, uh, I sat and talked to Alan one day, and he was he was telling me about the ones that the, his two boys. And he had a super way of describing them both, which I'm not going to go in on here. But, but and he more or less did, because after he did that, I watched him. Yeah. And uh, right there he is, Zorro Jr. and John Allen Calloway for Beth Beasley. There's a nice horse right there nice now. John Allen, he just moves with that horse. Yeah. Right here is MP2 and Jerry Beatty, your Marion Guild Encounter Reserve winner. But I'm here to tell you now, this horse did not miss a lick. Yeah. And I mean, did a super job. Tell you what, now Jerry was a trainer. Oh, Don't yeah. Don't think he ain't. Jerry does a good job. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. MP2, we've lost main power, so uh, MP2's gone. We've got lost some others that are gone. Right here is honors to Mr. Guest and Samantha Green for Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. You would not believe the number of people sitting around there tied that horse first. Oh yeah, that's a nice horse. That's a real nice that horse. That is a real nice horse. Real nice. And yeah. Samantha did a fantastic job yeah. of showing him. Super good job of showing him. He's a very fun horse. Mm -hmm. Right here, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you straight out. This young man right here can flat ride a horse. Look at the way he's setting that horse. Yeah. Now tell me. So that right there is getting it done. 17 and under youth. Now, and he's worked hard at it, but I can tell you, <laughs> he gets my vote. Yeah. He just, he got that horse hitting that slow walk, mm -hmm. steady getting it. What more can you ask for? Good job, Daniel, good job. Right here is your amateur three-year-old. I can't knock this at all. I am Charlie Black and Dahlia Smith Har took the blue for Smith and Har. Exclusion, Casey called Will Sanderson was reserved in Bedford, or Redford, Redford, Beth Logs, Ruth Logston. But I'm Charlie Black and Daniel Dahlia Smith Har. Yeah. Great show. And I mean great show. They got it done. That's a nice horse right there. Dahlia can Dahlia I mean Dahlia can set a horse, buddy. Yeah. And she a veterinarian, she knows horses. Yes. There she is. I'm Charlie Black, Dahlia Smith Hard, your amateur three-year-old stallion hunter. She was showing there that night and her dad was judging in cooking. Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I was wondering Same why night. I didn't see him. That is right. He was judging, judging up cooking. there. Yeah. And she was showing down here. Now she's getting it she's done getting, right there. Yes, she is knocking it off right there. Head shaking. Getting with it. Good deal. Yep. I'm on this right, this class was loaded yeah. with good ones. And I'm gonna say this, and I'm I may get hit up on tomorrow. 
but I honestly believe the horse won this class was the best one I saw that night. Yeah, that was a good I one. Mean, hey, Cavender and Knox Blackburn took the blue for Bruce and Robin McDonald. Augie, R.M. Kelly, and that was a good horse, yes. buddy. Believe me, it was. And finally, I am Jimmy McConnell, Brett Maverick, Winky Groover, and Zazabar, Dan Waddell finished out the ribbons. But I'm going to tell you that, Captain. I'm going to tell you what about it. You said it a while ago. He got the attention of everybody when they came I mean, in. Yeah, that's but right. But that, that other one, the one just went by, the Augie. Now, that Augie was, was a piece of work, too. But he, uh, look at there. There he comes up the rail there. He is a, a walking machine. Yeah. Look at oh, that. He's a nice horse, real nice horse. Hey. Unreal. He let him know, hey, I won this. Here I go. My hat's off. I'm, I'm so glad to see Knox back in yeah. there. But now Bruce was tickled. Yeah. Well, you were standing uh -huh, there when yeah. we mm -hmm. was talking. That's a real nice horse now, I'll tell you. But that's what I'm saying. That horse catch your eye coming in there. Well, he hits that lick, and, and now Knox is one that can flat set up there and get yeah. it done. But I, I do like that, and I know Bruce and Robin are proud of it. Good job. Good job. Well, that ends the show. We'll yeah. see you. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we got to right we, we close this yeah. out. I tell you, I want to remind everybody, Friday night, Shelbyville, Tennessee, Go to the Ag Center, support this horse show, and support the tennis team. They, they this is something for our youth. Other oh, yeah. than, of course, these kids aren't going to be riding the horses. That's the best yeah. it all well, see, happens. they're having a big tournament two days before. Yes. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it, this is important. This is fundraising for them to support them. Call Allison Smith nine three one six zero seven two six eight zero or Ricky Richardson at 931-492-0188. Go watch Grant Hope, Judge. Yes. And then Saturday night, go to Alabama to the walking horse auxiliary down there. Joan Kemp, 205-566-6090. And you'll see Lee Stewart. Yeah, that's right. And I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna be at both of them, but I really want people to support this one for the tennis team. Because that, that's important, our youth. Well, it's helping I mean, the kids and everything. Oh, well, and that's you, what it's you, all you about. you got to support them. Try to support Period. Yeah, You've got to right. support them. Exactly Jerry, right. I appreciate you I taking appreciate time you. off. I know you had to deliver a baby, but at least you made it. That's right. I just appreciate you Stud having Stud coat me. today, buddy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, Honors. Where's my cigar? <laughs> Did I have one? We'll see everybody next week. <laughs> Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking. Thank you.